So these free agency videos are kind of few and far between, but we've got another idea today, so we're going to be doing it. And it's every team's top goal scorer is going to be headed to free agency, and from there we will... I don't know, see who takes who. I'm probably gonna get some of these wrong, honestly, because I'm gonna make assumptions a lot of the time, but um, for the most part, it's probably gonna be the older players. So 274 out of Getzlav. I don't think that'll be topped. Like, there's no way Raquel has even close to that yet. No, 129. There might even be a better way to do this that I don't know about, but I doubt it. 186, so still not even close to Getzlav. There's no way that any of these guys have that many goals. So I... I think it's safe to assume Kessler's the only one that might be kind of close. Oh, 258. All right, so how? I think it was 279 maybe that Getzlav had or something like that. I think he still had more, so 274. Okay, yeah. Well, Getzlav, still, you're going to free agency. Arizona Coyotes. This one might actually be a little difficult. Clayton Keller has 54, so I'm thinking he's probably not going to be the most... Um, Phil Kessel. Ooh, it might be Phil the Thrill. Because that guy could... 371. I don't think anyone's beating that. Alright, so I'm not even going to look at a lot of these guys because, you know, there's just no way. Absolutely no way. I know there's going to be someone in the comments like, Oh, I can't believe you missed this person. They clearly have a million goals. My bad. So 250 still does not come close. Ooh. I think he's still under contract with them, technically. I think his contract actually just expired. I think he had a contract through to 2021, so for the 2022 season, he will officially be done. So on that note, I think I, I'm not going to give them a break here, and I'm going to get rid of Phil the Thrill. It's not like Hosa would get picked up anyway, so at least here we have a chance. I know Pasta does score a lot of goals, but there's no way. I I'll check just to be sure, but there's no way he's even close. Yeah, no, didn't think so. 352 from Burge. Holy, let's go, Burgi. Guy's lighting it up. And then 290, so yeah, definitely Bergeron's in the lead there. Taylor Hall, there's no way. Yeah, I don't think so. I think it's safe to assume that no one here has more, so it's it's got to be Bergeron. I can't believe he has that many, honestly. That is very surprising to me. Let's go. What a beauty. All right, Patrice, you're headed to free agency. Jack Eichel has 137. Is he going to have the most? I mean, I don't know who else would on this team. Butcher, no, no, no. I don't think so. Skinner. How many does Skinner have? 258. All right. So Skinner is definitely leading there. Uh, Akpozo might have a bit, but not that many. Yeah. Okay. I think, yeah, it's it's got to be Skinner then. I almost, no, there's no way. He doesn't really score a lot of goals, does he? 134. So no, um, it wouldn't be him. Monahan's got 194. All right. What about Goudreau? It can't be Chucky already. So... Monahan is currently leading. I'm trying to think if there's anyone here that could possibly have more than him. Um, not even close. Tanev does not score goals. Backlund, I doubt it. Yeah, okay. He's kind of close, though. And no, there's no way, but I'll check. Oh, never mind. Lucic. Wow, that really threw me off. 206. That is... Going to take the lead. I wasn't ready for that at all. 121 for Seb. And Sveshnikov has 44. Wow, I feel like he'd have more than that. But I guess he has only just begun. Um, what about Teravainen to 91? Okay. Vinny Trocek might have a decent amount. He's been around a bit longer. 112. Oh, Jordan Stahl. He's got to have more than 121, right? Yeah, 225. Okay. That is probably going to be it I would think on this team but I will have a look I love how I went from saying I'm going to make assumptions to basically carefully checking every single one but anyway Jordan Stahl there you go no not from that team it this one's got to be Patrick Kane there's no way 389 that's not getting beat Taves actually has a lot of goals I was not expecting that from Johnny Toes so good for you all right Patrick Kane finds his way back into free agency I feel like he is normally the one that goes there from Chicago, we got 190 out of Nate. See, I wish I could change players from here. That'd be ideal. I did find a little bit of a faster way to do it, I guess. So 99 there. We got 190 there. So I don't know if... Oh, Landis Gog does have 198. I was going to say, I'm not too sure if he would or not, but he has a little bit more. 198. kadri has got 180. So that's pretty close as well. Sod. 
Uh, 169, nice. So Nathaniel McConan has 190, but Gabriel Landeskog has 198. So Gabe, you are headed to free agency. This one might be line A. 138, maybe not. Maybe, oh no, no way. Okay, Voracek, I forgot I already did all the roster moves and I already forgot that that trade was made. So yeah, Voracek might hold it with 207. We'll see. Bjorkstrand's probably not even close, no. Anybody else here that might put up a fight? Max Domi? No, there's no way. All right, Voracek. Uh, let me just... I don't think Wierenski will have that many, but just to check. No. All right. So, yeah, it, it's got to be Voracek. Boom. Currently has 207 goals. There you go. You're now a free agent. 279 for Sagan. That's pretty good. But Pavelski is going to top him with 369, and I honestly think he is going to be... The one to take it home here. Ben actually has 300. That's more than I thought he would have, but still not enough. All right, Pavelski, find your way to the list of free agents. Detroit does have some veterans, I think. Maybe? Anyway, they... I don't know. I feel like that's just almost like a stereotype because they were a really old team for a while, so that might not be the case anymore, but... If that isn't the case, then it's probably going to be Larkin. And it's Bobby Ryan, 254. I'm not confirming that yet, but let me just check to see if anybody else has been around a minute here. Helm? I don't think so, no. And anybody else here? Probably not. No, I don't think so. I am not counting Henrik Zetterberg. That is just lame. Also, just note that I'm recording this on August 13th, so it's probably not going to come out for like another week. Maybe even more than that. So if any big moves have happened since then, I have no idea. Like, we don't know if Eichel is still going to be... Well, he didn't get dropped anyway, but you know what I mean. Stuff like that can't happen. Like, I just found out that Jumbo Joe signed in Florida today, which is wild. Connor McDusty, how many points does this guy have? 162. All right, Leon might have more. Yes, he does. Barely, but he does have more. Any forwards here? Nugent Hopkins has been around for a bit. I think he has one more, doesn't he? Leon Dreisaitl, once he does have one more, so... It is currently the Nuge. Wow. All right. What about Duncan Keith? Probably not, but no. And I don't know if anyone else on this team is going to be able to top that. I'm trying to think if there's any veterans on this team that I wasn't... Yep, there it is. James the Real Teal Neal is probably going to take the cake then. Kind of forgot he was still there. 80 overall, James Neal headed to the list of free agents. Now it's time for Florida. Or as I like to call them, Flo Rida. Actually, you know what? Quickly, this is one move I did forget to make. So let's head over to Philadelphia. There's probably more than this, but I'm just kind of making them as I see them. I know Yandel is... Uh, I don't want to drop him to free agency. I just want to make the move. Finish. Yeah, there we go. Okay. So Barkov is a goal-scoring machine, but he has 148. You know, he's still young. And Barkov has 155. Did I call him Huberto or did I call him Barkov? I don't know. I feel like I might have called him Barkov. Right now, Barkov is the winner. Never mind. There's no way he has more. Yeah, Jumbo Joe's going to have the most. It's not even going to be a contest. All right, Jumbo, you are headed to right back to free agency. They signed you today, but they decided never mind. I would think this one has to either be Kopitar or Dustin Brown, but I will do my due diligence here. 117 from Dewey. We have 333 from Anze. That's very good. And 117 from Arvidsson. Dustin Brown has 299. So I'm just going to make a big assumption here and say that it's... Yeah, it's, it's got to be Kopitar. So my friend told me, and I really haven't even looked this up still, so I still don't know, but apparently Kaprizov went back to Russia, which is insane. Zuccarello has 129. I'm trying to remember if there's any... Sort of veterans on this team. Fiala is not really a veteran at all, but no. Anybody else? So, Parise is a free agent. So, that doesn't count. It must have been my other account that I dropped the two, but I just realized that, yeah, Suter and Parise both got bought out. So, boom. There we go. So, I just looked it up quick. Apparently, Ryan Suter signed with Dallas. See, so yeah, I think this one is Zuccarello, so drop Zook. It's gotta be. Yeah. It's got to be Eric Stahl. 436, that is not getting beaten. Oh my, I forgot about Corey Perry. Does he have enough? 377. I already forget, but no, I think Stahl had 400 something, so I'm, I'm pretty sure it's still Stahl. But yeah, that, that came pretty close. I also forgot, and I'm going to do this real quick. 
Um, you know what? Let's actually make it a little bit quicker. So Corey Perry. Ah, that's like, mm, I don't know which way is quicker. I'm just going to do it. Drop him to free agency. And then let's quickly swap here to Tampa and move Perry over. So it wouldn't have been Perry anyway. Stull, you're gone. With 245, Matt Duchesne will be the free agent from Nashville. It's going to be kind of weird seeing Tata in a non-Montreal jersey, but meh. I'm also pretty sure that he's got the most. So Tata. See you later. Jordan Everly, see you later. Mika Zabinijad. I think Anisimov is currently a free agent anyway, but I don't know. There you go. We'll throw Ottawa a bone here. Claude Giroux is going to be a free agent. This one's going to be either Crosby or Malkin. I'm actually not sure which one it is. I feel like Crosby. Ooh. 416 and 462. All right. Well, yeah, it's going to be Sydney the Kidney. I'm really torn because I don't know whether to get rid of Marlowe here or Couture. But maybe we'll throw them a bone too because he's just here. I don't know. This has been really inconsistent already. I'm sorry. These videos are like this. It's hard to make decisions like that. But I feel like I already did it for one team. So now I have to do it for the rest of them. With 223, David Perron. So, I mean, Corey Perry's here. How many does he have compared to Stamkos? He has 370. So, Stamkos still has more, actually. All right. Well, I guess, yeah, it's probably going to be Stamkos going then, I would imagine. So... Yeah, let's just make that. For anybody wondering, he has 422. So Spezza has 341, I think it was, and 345. Are they actually that close? 345 for Tavares. And then Spezza has 341. Yeah, so it's still Tavares. Believe it or not, Oliver Ekman Larson, 125. There you go. I'm thinking this is going to have to be Pacioretty. I don't know if anybody else here, if there's any veterans once again that I'm sort of forgetting about but no i think it's patches i mean this one's just you know come on come on with 264 it is blake wheeler as our last player to be added to the pool here so let's go start up a franchise mode and do what we do so once again i have what is probably a wonderfully drafted team here from the expansion draft because that's normally what the ai do they draft lovely teams and i don't have seattle in this account apparently so we're the average Joes, AKA the failed experiment team. I'm just gonna have a quick look here to see who is still here. We got, wow. Yeah, there's a lot of players who didn't get picked up. Wow, wow. Okay, you know what? Hmm. Maybe I should redo it with salary cap off. I don't know if it'd make a difference. Just a lot of players in free agency or not a lot got picked up. But then I feel like turning the cap off kind of defeats the purpose of the video. I don't know, I'm stuck here. Okay, cap is off. Let's try this one more time. I also added a contract year, which I forgot to do last time, so I'm kind of happy we restarted, actually. I don't know what's going on, but I'm all over the place today. Now I I left owner mode on, so I'm just going to put auto owner and just run with it. Screw it. I'm sorry, <laughs> this is just a disaster. Well, let's check out and see the free agents this time. Um. Okay, so it looks like a lot more got picked, unless it's, well, it's not sorted by overall. Let's see. Okay, no, we're still good. A lot more got picked up, so that's nice. It looks like nothing for Anaheim here. Arizona, I feel like it's going to be just a few, well, not a few teams, but I do think several teams are going to pick up a lot of players. Um, we got Pacioretty here on Boston. Steven Stamkos is now on Carolina, and so is Pavelski, so that's pretty big. Voracek landed in Colorado, and so did Zuccarello. So did Giroux, and apparently so did Phil Kessel. And so did Perron. Wow. Okay, well, we found who's winning the Stanley Cup this year. Blake Wheeler and Patrick Kane here in Dallas. They also got Jordan Stull as well. Taveras went to Detroit, and it looks like that's about it for Detroit there. Landis Cog is now an oiler. Eric Stull has joined the LA Kings. I haven't seen Crosby yet, now that I really think about it. So, where is Crosby? And also... I haven't seen Jumbotron either. Was he in free agency? I don't think I saw him there. I feel like he got signed, but maybe not. Found Crosby. He is... Oh, and Jumbo. They're on the same team. All right. St. Louis. Okay. And Tata here as well. Okay. Very nice. Bergeron is now a Golden Knight. That is an interesting one. So he is the first line centerman there. Winnipeg has Ovechkin and Kopitar on their first line. So the second line is Shifley and Connor. That is... Unbelievable, really. Washington did not do anything it doesn't look like, and that's it. So, yeah, let's simulate. But I think it, it was at Colorado that was really stacked. I think it was, right? 
Yeah, they are winning the cup. I'm almost sure of it. I didn't even look at our lines. I'm guessing that we didn't sign anyone. So I'm just going to head coach edit lines. Mm, nope, don't think so. We're just going to do best lines. Boom. What a draft this was. Good for you. The owner must be very proud. I'm thinking Colorado got a lot of free agents because they just offered contracts because there's no salary cap. And then they were like, oh, Colorado's good. Yeah, let's sign there. All right, maybe the Avalanche aren't winning the cup. They are currently third in the division. So, yeah, that's awesome. Brent Burns, Keith Yandel, Ekholm. We're kind of going through here to see who's on the block. Pavelski. All right, there you go. Is he the only one, actually, of the players that got dropped? I think so. Here's the big trade. Philly sent Yandel to Calgary. Nice. Oh, yeah, the average Joe's killing it again. Love to see it. This team has had a lot of success in the realm of NHL 21. We didn't make the playoffs. What a shocker. I don't know if I, if I can believe it, honestly. The Boston Bruins win the cup. There you have it. All right, get out of here, owner mode stuff. Dusty Brown, 52, had the most for us. What a legend. All right, well, anyway, let's go to the team stats here and see who did very well. Colorado finished first in the division. Not by much, though. 101. And Edmonton Oilers, 116. Panthers, 113. Wow. Yeah, lots of teams did real good. Jack Eichel. Yeah. This guy is... Very consistent at winning this award, I must say. Uh, Dreisaitl is there, Tyler Sagan's there, Patrick Kane is there, which is not a surprise considering they were playing together. Bergeron did very well. McDavid, Olafsson. All right, so there you go. Kopitar did well for the Jets and Wheeler well for the Stars. I expected so much more from this team, honestly. I don't know. The simulation engine's kind of weird in this game, man. Anyways, let's go over the trophies. So there's the team awards. Individual, we got Eichel with the Art Ross and the Hart. The Norris goes to Riley. Patty Kane with the Bing Calder to Cousins. Rask with the Conn Smythe and the Vesna. Bobrovsky with the Jennings. The Bill Masterton goes to Yarmelson. Kieran's gets the Jack Adams. Selkie with the Couturier. <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay. Selkie with the Couturier. Yeah, that, there we go. Anyways, that just completely adds to everything going on right now. Jack Eichel with the Ted Lindsay and the Rocky Richard. So there you have it. Boom. There it is. Let's check out the playoff tree real quick. And yeah, there it is. Okay. So, huh. The videos this week did not quite go as planned, but... So you just know, sometimes I can't even speak now. This is awesome. It really is. What a collapse. Sometimes she goes, sometimes she doesn't go. This week, she didn't go. So, yeah. But anyways, hopefully it was at least entertaining, I suppose. That's all that matters at the end of the day. But, yeah. Thanks for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, leave ideas down there. Please. I need them. And that's about it. See you later.